Hello and welcome to episode 3 of our full playthrough of the Testament of Sherlock Holmes. I'm TJ. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoy your actual Labor Day weekend. It is Labor Day as of this recording. And I'm just here chilling. This is my final day of my four day break before I head back to work. Hope I have another vacation coming up in the near future. But let's skip back to what happened in the last episode. We're currently at the Whitechapel District. It's a heavily impoverished area. And we're trying to investigate the dispensary and also the the cemetery and we found out some stuff uh, we learned that one of the one of the suspects involved in the bishop's murder is a guy named Kurtz or <laughs> Colonel Kurtz <laughs> and we were able to find out uh, where he actually lives so he's somewhere down the street on Batty Street and so, oh, another thing that I, I need, why am I not moving? Okay, another, oh, hang on a second.
Uh, my apologies on that. I was talking to my store manager on the phone. I was in there for about 10 minutes. And uh, uh, I, I won't say any more, but I hope, I, I pray that uh, that everything's okay on his end. But I'm good. I'm, I'm glad to hear that everything is good. But uh, back to, uh, sorry. Whew, let me collect myself for a moment. All right, back at the moment, uh, back to the game. So we gotta find where Batty Street is because that's where Colonel Kurtz is located. I remember seeing it in one of these these alleyways down here, so I gotta see where it's at because that's where Kurtz is located. Yeah, we found some stuff in the cemetery in between the two sheds where one of the sheds had uh, there was a, a crate that was actually somehow nailed to the ground in the shed, and those some. Um, so there was a lockbox in which I had to unlock the lockbox, but that took me almost 30 minutes to complete because of there's Bad Street because of how how intricate the puzzle was. I had to arrange the numbers to the actual box number that was located in the bottom of bottom right of the corner of the lockbox. So I had to rearrange those numbers, but it was a really tricky, a really tricky. Uh, really tricky puzzle. It came to the point where I, I went kind of mindless and didn't really care, and then I started doing a random thing, and uh, that's what I did. I was able to unlock the box after about 30 minutes. So where's this? Is it these guys right here? That is street. Eight Batty Street, okay, so that's five. That's seven. So eight should be right. What the hell's eight? Batty Street. So is eight over here? Wait, where's eight? Oh, right there. Oh. Okay, so here it is. I wonder if the key... I should unlock it. My god, Holmes! It's appalling! And the smell! But what can have happened here? Stay calm, Watson. Take note of every detail and be careful not to move anything. Very well, Holmes. The material on this tray is rather odd. This opiates or something? A small burner. Small burnt balls. Okay, let's listen to that again. Small burnt balls. Small burnt balls. <laughs> small burnt balls, and that's a pipe? A pipe with a strange smell. There can be no doubt. Judging by the material on the tray and the pipe, the man smoked opium. Opium? I doubt if this man could have made his drug here. He would have needed a real laboratory. Let us look at our deduction board, Watson. Let's look around and see if there's anything else here. Oh, poor dog. Lacerated. Look at these laceration marks. Maybe a bit too? This part is in shreds. The skin tissue has decomposed. Yet the death is recent. The skin was deeply torn. What a horrible wound.
It's a deep what cut. A horrible wound. Size nine, hobnail boots like those worn by laborers. Size nine, hobnail boots like those worn by laborers. This part is in shreds. The skin tissue has decomposed, yet the death is recent. Only a dog could inflict so deep a wound, but it appears that the wound was gnawed at afterwards. It is a dog bite. I can see the tooth marks. What terrible wounds! The dogs must have been rabid. This bandage is a day or two old, no more. Is that the finger? This part is in shreds. The skin tissue has decomposed, yet the death is recent. The skin was deeply torn. What a horrible wound. The dog's bowl is empty. A torn piece of a letter. It seems to be a letter of dismissal. Great! What are they doing there? Someone wrapped some meat up in this newspaper. The blood is still fresh. This is yesterday's newspaper. Someone brought food for the dogs, probably just before the fight broke out. And just after they had been fed, they attacked a man to eat him. Incredible. military badge of the 58th Infantry Regiment of Her Majesty and a letter stipulating Kurtz's exclusion from the unit. He served in 1881. At that time, the regiment served in South Africa. Kurtz was in the Boer War. A newspaper covering the war in South Africa. Kurtz must have been following the war with some interest. The Boer War is abominable, and it still rages. What terrible... This bandit... This bandage is a day or two old, no more. 
Wait, what am I missing something? Please take note, Watson. The same finger that we found at the Bishop of Knightsbridge's house. Holmes! Alright, so let's see what we do now so far. My deduction chart is incomplete, Holmes. We are missing an important detail. Let's return to the clinic and ask if our friend might lend us his morgue for two hours. What are you going to do? I'm torn between a nap and a picnic. Oh, I've had enough, Holmes. The next step of our investigation, Watson, leads us inevitably to a post-mortem. As you're well aware, in the instance where a body's vital organs no longer function, every minute is vital. Be quick now and procure the room while I arrange the transport. Very well. I will see you later. Ah, Grant, you are still here. I need to ask a favor from you. What sort of favor, my dear friend? Might I use your morgue for a couple of hours? It concerns an affair of the greatest imp... Use the morgue? Whatever for? Letting you poke your nose in everywhere is one thing, but closing my eyes to I don't know what unsavory practices. No, it's nothing like that. No, it isn't possible. Sorry. Grant, listen to me. I... Don't insist. Where do you think you are? Perhaps because you come from the rich area, you think you are entitled to do whatever you like. But here in Whitechapel, it's the real world. You understand? The real world, where we have to take risks. Do you even know what that means? And this shabby health centre where I've been stagnating for years, it's a public establishment under my authority, for whatever that's worth. 
I'm responsible for it. Responsible, do you understand? Of course I understand, Grant. Good. I understand, first and foremost, that you are a coward. Wh what? A coward, I said, sitting on your backside behind a desk for years, complaining about your fate without even trying to change a single thing about it. I won't allow you. And you dare to talk to me about risks. I, who was wounded in Afghanistan while in Her Majesty's service, and who, for a great many years, has taken part in some of the most dangerous criminal investigations the country has ever known. But... As for being responsible, as you call it, it begins with doing your job properly, particularly when one is a doctor and caring for the poorest people within our society. I... The real life? Ha <laughs> ha! Don't make me laugh. I am a doctor too, Grant, don't forget. And I'm ashamed of my profession when I see the state of this center. It's not my... So, your disgusting morgue, you are going to allow me to use it, dear friend, because I urgently need it for a vitally important affair that is way over your head. And whether it pleases you or not, understood? If you want to be like that about it, do whatever you like. I wash my hands of the entire thing. That doesn't surprise me. This is a dismal place. Have you ever carried out a post-mortem homes? It requires a great deal of precision. Don't worry, I learn quickly. Hand me a bone saw. Holmes. Go carefully, Holmes, even so. I must clean the body first. I must mark the places to cut. My notches are ready. I can't do that. I can't... I can't do... I can't do that. I can't do... I can't do that. This liquid found in the lungs should be able to tell us something. I can't do that. What do you think? Go carefully, Hope. A ball of paper swallowed recently. What should we do next, Holmes? I must analyze the contents of my pipette. chemistry material and smells as bad as the one in our sitting room at Baker Street chemistry material and smells as bad as the one in our sitting room at Baker Street this liquid found in the lungs should be able to tell us something I lost it again. Let's try that again. One, four, two. Okay. Right, there 
go. What's the yellow agent? Two fatal, two was that corrosion? Two degeneration, there we go. Not close enough. And this right here. Only one of those, yikes. One degenerative agent or substance. There we go. Poison and apparently very virulent. Made the subject stronger. Wow. Evoked extreme degeneration of skin, tissue following deep wounds. Which is why that even though the death was recent, the the muscle tissue was degenerative. Okay. Oh, I didn't see that lungs. Let's see here. Murdered or poisoned? Hmm. You said dogs were poisoned then? That was a most instructive post-mortem. This man was murdered by his accomplices because of his missing finger. I see. He was overly conspicuous walking around with a bandaged hand, as the police would have been looking for a man with a missing finger. But how did they manage to disguise the murder by making it look like a dog attack? The post-mortem revealed the presence of poison in his system. Everything points to it being a less potent form of the poison we found in the bishop's rooms. This man died as much from the poison as from fighting against those animals. I believe this new version of the substance provokes such a rage that the victim attacks anything in his path, and in this instance it was dogs. We're dealing with sorcerer's apprentices whose creations are ever-evolving. They are attempting to obtain a particular effect, and they try out their formulae on human guinea pigs. You're saying that his accomplices forced him to drink it? No, he took it himself, voluntarily. The poison wasn't to be found in his blood, but in his lungs. I also discovered numerous traces of opium. I'm beginning to see. They mixed this horrible poison with his opium, knowing that he would soon smoke it to ease the pain caused by his wound. Exactly. And such a profound knowledge of both chemistry and toxicology is uncommon. Very well. We know the reason and the manner, but we're really not any further ahead. How will we find the two other men who murdered the bishop? By going to 13 Burner Street. It is in this area. But where did you get that address, Holmes? From his stomach. I see. He wanted to get rid of the address. No, he wanted revenge. I don't follow you. When the man with the missing finger began to feel the effects of the poison, he knew that he was going to die, and he knew that there would be a post-mortem. Shall we go?
where Burner Street it is. This is one of the earlier streets. Let's see. Goodbye. Yes. I'm starving. Help me for pity's sake. Team Burner Street, oh goddamn rats. So there's 11. That's 9. Oh, bath plate. Oh, I gotta use the bathroom real quick. Back to what I was doing. Alright, we found 13 Burner Street. This is it. There's our opium den, Watson. Let's go. Good day, gentlemen. Welcome. What can I do for you? One of your regular clients looked within himself to give us your address. He was very helpful. Oh, I understand. Our clients quickly become regulars. Your friend isn't with you? Sadly, no. He is tied up with his dogs. <laughs> I, <laughs> <like putting it. laughs> I do love dogs. Come in and make yourselves at home. Is someone snoring? The keys to the establishment are all here together. Interesting. Have you chosen somewhere to sit, gentlemen? Not yet, but we would like to ask you... Make yourselves at home, gentlemen. Someone will take care of you. These guys are knocked out from Dirty water. Shit. This bowl is used to wash smoking tools. Poor devils. See, Holmes, the ravages caused by such artificial pleasure. Mm, jasmine tea, judging by the aroma. Poor devils. See, Holmes, the ravages caused by such artificial pleasure. A 
Pity I don't understand Chinese. Closed. Who's you can't guy? come in here. It's private. So please excuse us, sir. Well, we have searched everywhere apart from two rooms. One of these rooms interests me particularly. You are thinking of the guarded room, aren't you, Holmes? I am indeed. But we should not consider any confrontation with the guard. Let us be discreet and enter the adjoining room. It's locked, and it wouldn't be very discreet if we were to force it. Nevertheless, we do need to get in there. And the manager? Let us find a way of distracting his attention. It's not very clean here. Dirty water. This bowl is used to wash smoking tools. Have you chosen somewhere to sit, gentlemen? Not yet. But we would like to ask you... Make yourselves at home, gentlemen. Someone will take care of you. Holmes, the ravages caused by such artificial pleasure. Mm, Jasmine yes. tea, judging by the aroma. It's not allowed here. Go on a bit further. Please excuse us, sir. Closed. Not yet, but we would... Make yourselves... This client is a s This client is a s Holmes, you talked about making a client sick, but you were exaggerating. Surely you aren't going to force someone to drink. Another of our differences, my friend. You cure people, I make them sick. What's the matter? Are you ill? Hey, mister! It'll be all right. Breathe! The Chinese waiter is busy. We can go. That damn key. I can only I can take, only take one, one key. key. Here goes that first key. And that it is, perfect. There we are. It is simplicity itself. Watson, put the key back in its place before the manager notices that it's missing. I shall be quick. I managed to return the key without being seen. Perfect. Let's go in. Phew! What a stink! This bottle is full of barbiturate acid. 
We use it in medicine sometimes as a tranquilizer. This stick will serve as a weapon or for something else. This bill hook is very thin and solid. A ventilation window. All this material must be for heating opium before smoking it. better not to go down there. I should get home and miss that. This small opening gives onto the guarded room. Holmes, shh, listen. Yeah, but that's different. I don't mind getting money for killing, but he was a sort of pope or something. And we didn't even get... Nice rich man's boots. They must be worth about 20 pounds. But even so, and the boss ain't happy. And when I see him unhappy, I'm afraid. I don't fancy ending up like Kurtz. Perhaps you're right. But we'll have a chance to make up for it. We just have to get it right this time. Because he won't forgive us so easily next time. They are the Bishop's murderers, Holmes. The fiends! Calm down, Watson. We'll have to take care of the guard at the entrance. I think we should be able to find something in this place that would put an elephant to sleep. Very good. But then what? Then we take care of those two devils. Phew! What a stink. This bottle is full of barbiturate acid. We use it in medicine sometimes as a tranquilizer. A syringe that could be useful. I cannot leave now. Small balls of opium. I'll take a spoonful. Hmm, it would be better not to go down there. A ventilation window. I need something. I need... I need... I need... I need... I need... I need... Do you really think that this is the appropriate moment? Don't worry, Watson. My mind only requires <laughs> stimulation when it is unoccupied. That is not the case at the moment. I am merely heating these opium balls to obtain a liquid solution. You have a potentially very powerful sedative there, Holmes. Be careful, such a dose could be lethal. This door shouldn't be open! Let's hide, Holmes. This place isn't very favorable for that. I hate the idea, but we will have to rely on luck. There! It's locked! We've been locked in!
How are we going to get out of here? Closed. I think that window is large enough for us to squeeze through. This window is well and truly stuck. We'll have to pull it free. It's open, but this window is damnably heavy. We need something to keep it wedged open. Good. We can get out of here. After you, my dear fellow. Very well, Holmes. Let me first, though. <laughs> It's not allowed here. Go on a bit further. Please excuse us, sir. Make yourselves at home, gentlemen. Someone will take care of you. You can't come in here. It's private. Please excuse us, sir. It's not allowed here. Go on a bit further. Please excuse us, sir. It's time to take action, Watson. Go and distract the brute guarding the door. What? Why don't you do it yourself? You're an expert boxer, after all. It's not a matter of fighting. It's a matter of luring him to me. Ah, I see. I imagine that the sedative is for him. Well deduced, Watson. Do something to bring the guard towards me. Good luck, Watson. Uh, sir, would you be so good as to come here? That was quick. <laughs> no, not that way. We must take them by surprise. Let's get to the corridor by these stairs, Holmes. Oh, this way, okay. Holmes, what on earth are you doing? No, stop! Put your hands up! Don't try anything clever! You're under arrest. Take them away. So be it. Come, Watson. Let us go. But why have we come back to Baker Street? It would have been better to join Baines to interrogate those criminals. No. In the hands of the police, those crooks won't talk, and you know it. They risk being hanged. I don't understand anything here. We must explore all our leads. Let us take a look at the map of London. We must explore all our leads. Let us take a look at the map of London. Let's go to Kensington Gardens next. We have arrived. The bishop's nephew lives here. Yes, he runs a ground floor room. Can I help you, 
gentlemen. How do you do, madam? We should like to see one of your lodgers, Henry Hamford. Well, he's away. And you must understand, I don't open my door to strangers, especially with all these prowls about. That is the reason for our visit. You're the police. No, Henry is a friend of ours. He expressed his concern to us about these intruders. We're here at his request. I'm not surprised. Mr. Henry, while he might seem strange at first, is a thoughtful and kind man. You must have noticed how worried I've been. Why, just this morning, some of my washing was stolen, and I'm sure it was those ones who took it. It seems like the best place to start our investigation. May we step into your garden and then perhaps look into our friend's room? I don't see anything wrong with your looking over the garden, but his room... You understand? He didn't warn me. I understand. What should we do next, Holmes? Let's have a look in the garden. No, it is unnecessary. Without a doubt, it is the linen belonging to Henry's landlady. Indeed, there appears to be some linen missing. There should be a spade here. A small pickaxe. A break. Break. Why take it, Holmes? The wire seems long enough. Tins of food tied to one another. They look to me as though they're rudimentary traps used to indicate the presence of intruders. Oh, what a jumble. There is something interesting here. No, I can't do that. Good, we can pass. This newspaper is four days old. The bishop's nephew was being watched long before his uncle's murder. The remains of a small meal. Someone has stayed here rather a long time. Nothing of interest here. What do you think, Holmes? It is just as I thought. Here's an ideal view of Henry's room. This window overlooks the room belonging to the nephew of the Bishop of Knightsbridge.
closed. Closed. No, it is unnecessary. Nothing of interest here. What am I missing here? There should be a spade here. This window overlooks the room belonging to the nephew of the Bishop of Knightsbridge. No, it is unnecessary. What's that? Hold on a second, what's this? No, I can't do that. This clothing is torn. The man who stole it must have caught it on a tree when he stood upon the fence. And at the moment when he jumped, he left this jacket in the tree.
Is this the washing you were looking for? Oh, yes, that's it. Where did you find it? On the ground. Doubtless blown there by the wind. They didn't steal it, then. I'd have felt better knowing that those lurkers were nothing more than clothes thieves. That is not the case, madam. This affair seems to be rather more serious than that. It appears that these intruders were spying on Henry. Now, please, let us see his room. Gracious me, whatever next. Come in. Take the first door on the left. It's open. He never locks it. Never? No, never. Well, you know him. He doesn't do things like everyone else. He lives in a world of his own. When did you see him last? Did he say anything to you? Yesterday morning. He just muttered a few words. I can't always understand what he's saying. When he does talk, that is. I can ask him a question, but he just stares off somewhere. The floor, the ceiling. As if I wasn't there. At first I found it strange, but I've gotten used to it. Yes, I know exactly what you mean. He's sometimes nervous too, isn't he? Oh, yes. As soon as anything upsets him. Even when he's alone in his room, he gets cross. And then the next second, he's standing stock still. He stares off into space and calms down again as fast as he became angry. He got his scarf out, but he forgot to take it. Someone emptied a bag here. Someone emptied a bag here. There's something interesting here. These wood chips. There is something interesting here. There is something. Let's see. Holy shit. So each side has a combination, but I don't know how to... So the first, wait, where's number one? One is one, two, three, five. I am missing, I am missing some information. information. He scratched, he scratched the lock, the lock cipher, cipher codes for himself. himself. Watson, Watson, write them, write them down, down for us. It is noted. It is noted. I have noted down everything. This lock is very complex. The young Henry is remarkably intelligent. You know what, let's stop here, because I don't know if it's going to take me another... Well, let's look around here real quick. A violin. A violin. It is a lovely one, but where's its case? It is... And he's read all that. Impressive. It is an impressive library for someone living alone. And he's read all that. Impressive. What is this strange installation? This candle is still hot. It's been used recently. During the day? Whatever for? What is this strange installation? No hat, no coat. But yeah, let's end the episode over here because I don't know how long this is going to take me. 
so next episode we'll finish investigating the, the bishop's nephew's room in here. Hopefully we can unlock this damn safe and it hopefully doesn't take me too long like it did the last episode with that, with that uh, safety deposit box. And we'll also see what this is all about on the table right here as well. Oh, what's this? This rubbish bin was emptied, and then someone threw a torn piece of paper in it. And judging by the smell, there was also an onion. Onion? Let us put these torn pieces of paper on the table. And we'll do that in the next episode. Alright guys, I'll see you real soon for episode 4 of The Testament of Sherlock Holmes Full Replay.